right, let's see what we can do with this. Going four hundred. Now this user interface is difficult. It's frozen on me. I felt like it froze on me, folks. That's really strange. It's not a very clever design by the company uh, Konica Minolta. They didn't do a very good job of making this user interface. It's a real shit. They've made a real shit job of it, folks. I don't like scrolling. I like just using the tabs like on the old machine I had called the uh, C353. Same. Yeah. This Anyway, what do we got? We got here a bow tie shaped hair clip. We're going to make something out of this. Going to make something interesting. So I'm wondering, we're going to photocopy this. Actually, I'm thinking maybe oh, we're not going to make it 400, so we're going to make it 200%. So let's see how we go putting this on the glass in the A6 area of the glass, like so. And we're just going to drop the dock feeder on it gently. Let's see how it fits. See if our first go is good. Yeah, the first go looks good. Hey, the colours are brilliant. Look at that. Startling. Or stunning, I think, is the best word to describe it. And that's going to be the centre of our job. It's a bit curly, though. That's the problem we have with when you use up so much toner on the image. It curls the image on this paper I use. We'll see how we go. That's the thing I hate about heavy air covers, coverage of toner is the um, problem of this rather disgusting uh, curling problem which ruins the, ruins the presentation. So I'm going to have to, wondering if I'm going to compromise, I'm going to have to maybe lighten the image. I have to lighten the image folks, I'm sorry about that, it's just too curly for my display and I haven't even lightened it as I normally would so it's really heavy it's too heavy uh, it still looks good color wise coverage it looks good but it's too heavy for the job so I'm just going to let this one come out I'm going to move the other two images away this may not look quite as stunning but it still looks good it still looks really nice uh, in its own way so we're just going to yeah, put those aside and we're just going to, at least you can see the actual ribbon, the texture of the ribbon in that. It's not as nice and colourful as the first ones. So, yeah. I normally set it lighter anyway. Okay, out that comes. That's our second piece. I can just see the edge of the ribbon. I didn't notice that before. I just put the edge right up there. Uh, so let's just line that up like so. That's better. It's not as curly. Now we're just going to set the original mirror image for this, and then print them off. That didn't sound too good. The scanner's making squeaking noises, folks. So it's not a good sound for Conic and Minolta. But they're a bunch of money fucking assholes anyway. Who cares about them, dickheads? So let's see. We've just got other things in the way. Just making this, just move those out. 
so we're just going to line up our pieces. This one's a bit close. Move that out a bit. Just line that up there. Anyway, there you have it. That looks brilliant. I think now we can call this little demo quits.